So when my friend Kathigan suggested a weekend trip to Nagarhole, I was more than happy. It's been a while since I went somewhere wild and I was already craving for some elephants. We were breezing through the nice road by 7, bit early for my time, although I was enjoying the drive. Well, the enjoyment didn't last longer, thanks to Mysore road traffic. What I've seen these days is that the Mysore road traffic on weekend is as bad as the city traffic on a weekday. But then there's no point in bitching, because I also contribute to that problem. With every restaurant being overcrowded, we just had a quick breakfast and pushed off. So by afternoon 12, we were at the forest office. To give you an idea, the government safari in Nagarhole can be booked in three different places. The first one is at Viranasoli Gate, which is kind of the main entrance to the national park. The second place is at Kutta Gate, which is an exit towards Kutta. And the third point is at uh, uh, Antarasante Forest Range Office, which is on the route towards Bavali. And this is the place we have reached right now. Since the booking starts at 2, we decided to go check in at the stay, have lunch and come back later. The place we had booked is Kabini Farm Stay. As the name implies, it's right in the middle of a farm. It's a beautiful place and very reasonably priced. We were there at the forest office by 2 and there was already a huge queue. The ticketing system is more streamlined here with only one ticket per head, which means that anyone taking the safari should be physically present in the queue with a valid ID proof. The weekend safaris are for one and a half hours whereas the weekday ones are two and a half hours and they are charged accordingly 350 for weekend and 500 for a weekday safari and they do charge for camera 100 for a point and shoot and a whopping 500 for a DSLR oh man Apparently, this strict ticketing system was brought in because earlier the resorts around used to do bulk booking, due to which general public were not getting the tickets. And the safari started exactly at 3. And we were having normal sightings like spotted deer and samba deer.
Ah, sighting my favorite animal after a long time. We did spend some anxious moments when there was a news of a leopard sighting, but we were not that lucky. And with that ended our safari. And with not getting any ticket for the 4.30 safari, we decided to go for a drive towards Bavali. After the nice elephant sighting, we came across a pack of wild ducks finishing a spotted deer right on the roadside. With the traffic piling up and the wild ducks moving inside the forest, we decided to push off. We were back in the resort and with a delicious dinner buffet, the night came to an end. And for the Sunday morning safari, we were up and out of the resort by 4.30 to reach the forest office at 5. And to our surprise, uh, there were already people waiting, even before us. The safari started at 6. And soon there was an adrenaline moment when someone said that they saw a tiger.
The news spread and every safari vehicle came rushing there. But unfortunately the tigers never came outside again. <laughs> Before heading back to Bangalore, we decided to go for a drive inside Nagarhole. And that's when we came across this. A lone wild dog trying to hunt spotted deer. Right when the wild dog was near the road, my photographer luck kicked in. I zoomed in with the autofocus off, which resulted in everything getting blurred. Of course, I didn't notice that right away. Every F in time. And with that, an awesome weekend came to an end. It was saddening to go back to the concrete jungle, but there was no other option. <laughs>